Hey, good Tuesday morning, everybody. September the 3rd it is, and I'm Chris Allen here on the SAM channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. What a day yesterday. I told you, I told you it was going to be a great day, and it was. I mean, just absolutely um, wonderful. Felt good, looked good. I hope that you got to take advantage of it. Now I had to work yesterday. I, well, okay. I was off from the radio part, but I had to work TV side last night. So today it's just the opposite. I'm on the radio this morning at Sam 100.7, but I'm off of the TV side tonight. It's a juggling act all the time. <clears throat> so anyway, so you won't see me on News 40 tonight. It's a, it's a day off for me because I worked yesterday. See how that works? Labor. <laughs> Some of you labored on Labor Day as well, but hopefully those of you that were able to get outside and take advantage of it, I hope you enjoyed it because it was wonderful. And we've got a good start again this morning. Taking a look outside at the plain old cam. It's nice. Just a few high clouds passing through with the sunshine and temperatures. Very, very nice. Some upper fifties to low sixties this morning. Ugh. It's awesome. Awesome weather. Radar is not going to show you anything, even though we'll show it to you and you can see for yourself. I mean, there's nothing. Nothing out there. Uh, as far as rain is concerned, you have to go, wow, look how far you go before you start to see rain. Way back south of Oklahoma City through Dallas into the central part of Texas, they've got some heavy rain going on there. That's it. I mean, for hundreds of miles, high pressure is in control and it's keeping us nice and dry. Dry is usually a good thing, but it's not so good when you need rain because we're behind on rainfall. We need to do some catching up. We're going to see a little bit maybe on Friday, but that doesn't look like it's going to be much of anything, uh, which is a little disappointing, but that's the only chance of rain I've got in the seven day forecast. It's just we need some rain. We need some beneficial rain, and I hope we get some soon because it's very, very needed. Uh, let's take a look at the Kentucky Mesonet temperatures. We've got, uh, oh, this is so nice. Like I was saying, look at the, all the 50s. 50s, much cooler this morning than it has been in previous mornings when we've been in the 60s. There's low to mid to upper fifties and even a 60 here and there, but boy, is this nice. And look at these two points forties for upper 40 degree dew points and low 50 degree dew points. Oh, that's the way you want it. That's the way, that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, winds coming out of the north and east, like yesterday, that northeast breeze really helped it just reinforce how nice it was for Labor Day. Uh, today, we've got that little light northeast breeze at 5 to 10, again this morning. Very nice extra nice. Love it. Love it. Yeah. So fall pretty much here. Um, I really believe we're not going to see any more of those mid to upper nineties to near 100 degree temperatures. Uh, those are, are gone for the summer. Now from time to time, as you can see here from the model blender, we are going to touch um, the mid to upper eighties for a few times, 
in the next week or two, but it's not going to stay there. Uh, we're going to go about 81 today. They're calling the blend of models is calling for 83. Uh, I'm going 83 tomorrow with clouds, no rain, but clouds. So I don't think we're going to get that 86 that they're showing there. The model's not picking up that well on the cloud cover. So the clouds itself will keep us cooler. Now, 89 for Thursday and Friday. I don't think so. It's more, it's, it's going to be more into the mid eighties for Thursday and Friday and Friday, we'll start to see a rain chance with a cold front. And that cold front is going to cool us down for the weekend. Look at Saturday and Sunday. Wow. I'm actually going mid seventies for highs and upper forties for low temperatures for Saturday night, Sunday night into Monday morning. Nice. Then next week we do a little recovery. We get back into the eighties, but maybe not as warm as they have right there, but it is going to warm back up. So it's not bad at all. Average high is 87. It's going to go 86, 85. As we head on into this weekend, the beginning of next week, the numbers really start to go down. The average daily high and daily low really start to trickle down a little quicker now that we're getting close to fall. And so uh, there's very little opportunity because the days daylight is shorter, nighttime is longer. We just don't have the opportunity that it's going to need for us to hit those big 90s again, the big heat and humidity it's over. It's over. So, uh, I, for those of you that, uh, love summer, goodbye. Well, no, don't leave. Don't leave me. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here <laughs> all alone. Yeah. I didn't mean for you to go. I mean, summer's gone. Bye-bye. So yeah, <laughs> it'll be back. It'll be back for, you know, all right, let's take a look at the charts here. The maps are showing us some beautiful weather uh, starting right now and today. We're on our way to another gorgeous day. We had a little bit of patchy fog in a few spots this morning. Now, this afternoon, this is interesting. Because of this little weak disturbance, the Nashville forecast office has painted in just a chance of a shower around the Nashville area but they stop it at the border. Now we know rain does not stop at borders. It does not recognize borders, but forecast offices through the national weather service do recognize borders, but could, could there be something that pops up this afternoon here along the Kentucky, Tennessee border? Nashville thinks so. But the Louisville office, which forecasts our area, thinks not. So it's all a question of will the dry air that's in place overcome any chance of a pop-up shower this afternoon uh, to our south? We'll just have to see. But things uh, turn dry again this evening. Here's Wednesday early. Here's... Uh, midday Wednesday, then early Thursday, Thursday afternoon. Here's Friday. Yep. Rain. But the thing is, it's not going to be a lot. That's the only disappointing thing. There seems to be, you know, everybody's got it in their forecast here, but I don't see a lot of rain at all. As far as measurable rainfall, it's just not going to be that impressive Saturday, it moves on into Sunday then into Monday. See, there's just, there's just not much there. I wish that it, that something of substantial rainfall could be in that forecast because I know we need it. Uh, we're 
you know, running behind, but uh, I just don't see it. Don't see it right now. But on the other hand, it feels like fall, and it looks like fall, and I'll I'll take that. I love that. All right. Uh, again, those of you saying good morning in the chat box, thank you. I appreciate you watching. Uh, remember, I'm on the radio this morning, right now, Sam 100.7, but I will not be on News 40 tonight at 5, 6, and 10. I've got the day off from TV, but I'll be back tomorrow. I know it's kind of weird. It's one of those holiday on a Monday kind of thing, and you get day off next day if you worked on a holiday and yada, 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 yada. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Enjoy the weather. Thanks for watching and God bless.